Hello everyone, welcome to a new video and this will be a quick video about uh, how to communicate the S7 PLCs with uh, uh, Cymatic WinCC. Uh, so this is my hardware. So I'll be using my Ethernet port to communicate with the, uh, the Cymatic SCADA, WinCC SCADA. So I'll be using this port 192.168.184 and uh, this is my program so basically what I'm planning to do is I'll be taking this uh, memory memory words 552 to the program and I'll be using a push button to write to this uh, bit and to activate this bit and uh, this will be like a on off bit which I will explain later so first we will start with uh, these three va three values that is MW552, M15.0 and M15.1 so open your TIA portal so I am using TIA portal to create the WinCC uh, system so create a new project okay add the device and network add new device and uh, click on the PC system Cymatic HMI application that's in WinCC runtime advanced so click add okay now open the HMI uh, tree here and first thing we need to make the connection with the PLC so click on add new connection and we will call this connection as connection 1 and uh, my PLC is S7400 so I keep the same and uh, mention your laptop or PC ad IP address so my laptop IP address is uh, 36 I guess It's 36. Then put your PLC address that is 192.168.184. And uh, you should mention this uh, slot and rack number correctly by checking the hardware. So as you can see, my rack number is 0 and my PLC slot number is at 3. So give the slot number as 3. Okay. So that's it. My connection is made from WinCC SCADA to uh, the PLC. Okay. The next thing is to create the tag. So we would use the default tag table. Click on add new. Mm. So I will use an analog value. I call the tag as analog one and uh, here you call your connection so this is the connection that we just made now click that okay now here you can directly give the address okay so I'm using memory before that I do no okay I'll be using memory word uh, memory word 522 okay memory word 522 okay next is to uh, create the bit so we'll call bit number one address is uh, bool the 
type is bool okay and the address m15.0 okay so m15.0 now m15.1 bit number 2 bool m15.2 okay now we will make a screen mm, I will add the analog value the tag connection add your tag analog when tag okay now I will configure a push button so this will uh, when I click on this I need to activate the bit 15.0 okay this should be 15.1 okay. so when I click on this that is when I click you have a lot of functions here so I will edit bit uh, I'll use this function maybe uh, I will activate bit number one okay so when I click I will activate bit number one now I will so bit number one means m15.0 will go high which will make m15.1 also go high so I will use a uh, indication to show this M15.1 going high. Let's use this. So bit number two. When it is zero, I will give uh, green color. And when it is one, we will give red color. Okay, we'll just run it and see. But my analog value is not coming. Let me check that. Oh, it is five fifty two. Okay. I mention as 522 okay so my analog value is coming and I will change it and see I'll change the analog value yeah okay Okay, so it works. 
and the push button yeah so as you can see in the program uh, m15.0 is zero right now when i click it goes high okay okay now let's uh, talk about this so it is always good to have a continuous running script in the scatter system so what uh, like a trick or something what we can do is we can make a on off pulse like this like this is giving a pulse every 500 milliseconds so i can use this bit to run a continuous script in uh, the vcc scatter system okay so now what we can do is for example let's say we want to make sure the scatter is communicating with the plc so what i will do is i will use this bit m15.2 i will take this bit to the vincc scatter system and i will generate a uh, bit called m15.3 okay which will activate this bit means i will connect this bit to 15.3 in the scatter system and i will use this bit to make sure the scatter is communicating properly so let's do that close this and we will call um, bit number three that is m15.2 so it is correct we'll call another bit number four which is m15.3 okay okay so now uh, what we will do is uh, we will create a script here mm -hmm. script maybe script so bit number okay bit number 4 is m15.3 number 4 is equal to bit number 3 okay so bit number 3 is the uh, on off bit so i connected bit number 4 to bit number 3 which means when i run the script whatever the status of bit number 3 will be copied to bit number 4 okay uh, we can show that in the screen so this is uh, this will be bit number three bit number three will be the uh, one that is coming from the plc on off bit this will be the one that is going sending from scared up that will be bit number four okay and uh, as you can see this is uh, generating a bit every 500 millisecond and one thing you need to be careful is that you can see this uh, data acquisition cycle it means every one second only it is updating the value from the plc but our data our bit is sent every 500 milliseconds so i need to make this less than 500 milliseconds so i'll keep it at 100 millisecond okay so now we'll run and see let me see this oh, okay wait now uh, i need i made the script but i have not called the script anywhere so what you can do is you can click on bit number three which is the on off bit from plc if i click properties 
and in the events you will find the value change so every every time the value changing i will call the script okay so now i call the script means every time the bit uh, value change from 0 to 1 1 to 0 this script will be will be called and which will write the value from bit number 3 to bit number 4 now let's try that okay now it is working so you can see what is our program see so when this is when this bit is generated it gets right to this bit from the SCADA and this this bit will enable this. So by monitoring this bit, we can make sure that the SCADA is communicating with the PLC properly. So this is just some basic examples I showed you. Uh, once you figure out, you can develop yourself interesting logics and uh, animations. So I hope this helped. So thank you for seeing this video. Have a good day.